It's time yet again to randomize one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. My comfort Zelda game. The Zelda game that I wish they would make another spiritual successor to. I want a limited world with some nice detailed quality, some solid puzzles, and some fun characters. But just the next gen era of graphics. But Twilight Princess honestly still holds up and still scratches that itch for me. <laughs> The art style of this game, I think, really holds up. Some of the things look weird, like some of the background details, especially Death Mountain Volcano looks weird. I always get so much anxiety watching Link right next to this cliff. Like, what if it crumbled and they fell down into the canyon? They would just respawn back at the top. But this definitely is one of the fan favorite Zelda games. Because we also have Minna in the wolf form. It's so good. Came out in 2006. This game is starting to get pretty old. Oh! Here we go. Time for a new quest. Let's name ourselves. <laughs> I'm just gonna go kind of weird with it. His name is gonna be Ow. <laughs> <laughs> just that every single NPC is gonna have to call me that now. No regrets. And then Epona's name will be none other than Stud. <laughs> I don't even know why. All capitals too. Making a statement. Epona is our stud though. Alright, so this randomizer is gonna skip straight past the intro and put us right at the very beginning. And whoa, look at Link! He's got the purple tunic. He's got the frosty hair. He is ready and he prepare. He got the gloves. He pushed and shoves. He got the boots. They looking cute. Let's get our first item. First check. It's gonna be the Ordon sword check inside our house that Russell lays there. Home sweet home. This is also Link's best house. Look at how cozy. This house is. I would straight up love to have this house myself. Just give me internet connection and I'm good so I can Twitch stream and I'm solid. First check is a bloopy. Fantastic start. We're loving life right now. Got blooped on. Are you serious? So there's not even that many checks that we can get at the very beginning of the game. We're pretty limited, so we're, we're bound to find something good towards the beginning of the randomizer. Ordon is such a cozy little town down here. I just love how it's tucked away, how they have a little... a little lake and a little stream. Ordon Village was my second home as a teenager. Dude, Link with white hair kind of looks like Fierce Deity Link a little bit, doesn't it? If he had the face paint, he'd be set. Let's grab the cradle from the monkey. Snatched. Woo! Everybody rejoice. The baby will have a place to sleep once it is birthed. By a girl that has a very similar haircut to me. If I did a part like right here, then we would have the same hairstyle. <laughs> I've been looking for that cradle. Okay, she, oh, I did not mean to throw it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we gotta take it back up to her house. <laughs> Fuck your cradle. Okay. Oh, she's pissed. My thanks to you. Oh. Yes, yes. I've nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Here you go. What? I'm so mad about it. Come on. <laughs> this randomizer is kicking my ass at the beginning. It is not being nice. Okay, well, let's do everybody's favorite side quest. Morning, oh. Oh, sheesh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh. Nice. 
The town's precious livestock. Yeah, that's right. Hang your head in shame. You know who's boss? Who? Hmm. Hey! Another one? Stop! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there can be multiple? I don't even know what just happened. Aww. Look at the guy. He liked it. Oh, he bats. I love Ordon goats. The way you can interact with animals in this game is so peak. He's a good little boy. Well, let's go herd some goats while we're at it then. Dude, why do I want a goat all of a sudden? <laughs> well, goats can also be terrifying. They can attack you. And if they scream, it's the most startling thing ever the ordon goats another reason the game is goaded <laughs> epona just pushed one of the goats out of the way i mean sorry not epona it's stud all right i always wish there was like more goat herding in this game. I love the element of it, but it's so limited. Or maybe it's good that it's limited. That's kind of how almost all the mini games feel in Twilight Princess. They're all very fun, and all of them you kind of wish there was a little bit more. Especially the one with the double claw shot and the stars. I always wish there was more levels to that. No, stop. We got a scraggler. I try to get all the ghosts in at the same time. Here we go, here we go. Move back. Um, get away from the gate. Get away from the gate. It's Kevin's gate. Fortunately, the time limit for this doesn't matter whatsoever. It's all just bragging rights. Okay, I think we're good now. Get in there. You know what's good for you. Who didn't? Are you serious? Why did you go all the way over here? Stop it. <laughs> I was hurting Twitch chat. Always trying to wrangle Twitch chat up. That's the job of a Twitch streamer. You're just a Twitch chat. Rodeo. Gotta keep you all inside the gate. Don't want any of y'all getting lost now. A key shard. This is one third of the Goron Mine boss key. <laughs> what a start. We have five rupees, a portion of a boss key, and we got froze. Things are going great. Loving it. I need more money for sure. So we gotta go buy some stuff in Sarah's Sundries. Okay, I gotta double check this. Can we not do some good old sumo wrestling with Mayor Bo? Ooh! You almost hurt my horse. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go inside Mayor Bo's house. This is where Elia lives too. I don't think she's here though. Pretty sure. <laughs> oh, he duplicates himself. One of the best parts of the entire game. I know this is what you all came for. Nah, I know how to sumo wrestle. You came for some Mayor Bow Cheeks. I know that's right. Hop on. Ow. No, 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 no. Fuck. Come on, come on. <laughs> Dude, stop slapping me. What the heck? Dude, I'm getting like... K 
Okay, you saw nothing. Y'all saw nothing. At least this doesn't cost money. Okay, I totally slipped right there. What was that? Maybe I'm just prolonging it so I can see. Oh. Nice. There we go. There we go. No. Ow. Fuck. Ah. Dude, I normally don't suck at this. Dude. My hair bow is like... I think Mayor Bo took some ketamine or something. I don't think that actually is a performance enhancing drug, but <laughs> he took something. No! <laughs> this is the worst randomizer ever. <laughs> uh, I'm losing a freaking sumo wrestling of all things. There we go. There we go. Get out of here. Redemption arc. Whew. And we're back. Okay. What's in the chests? Come on, come on, randomizer. Give me something to work with. A small key for Temple of Time. Oh, we're cooking now. We're cooking now, too, clan. This randomizer better watch out. We're better we're about to beat it. <laughs> I need to try to find some money real fast. <laughs> We're in go mode. That's all it took. Can I break some some pumpkins for some money? Yeah, so far this randomizer has me bent over its knee. It's smacking my ass right now. It's, <laughs> it's showing me who's boss. It's like, oh, you think you can do some max difficulty settings? Okay, well, let's see what you got. Let's see if you got the chops. <gasps> Sorry, Katie, don't have a... I do not have any fishing rod right now to get you fish. There's definitely some rupees up here. Let's get these. Now, out of all games that could have a pot sanity and random rupee sanity, I would actually love that for Twilight Princess. Because this game just has so many little tiny secrets hidden everywhere. And... I just want to deepen my hyper fixation with this game. <laughs> hyper fixation can never be too deep. I don't know what it is, but Link is a little bit hard to control. He's like very sensitive. Whew. Should I attack Mayor Bo's bald head from up here? Give myself this chicken, I'll pick it up by the tail. Alright, up to no good in your neighborhood. I think this will be enough money to buy stuff. There's like rupees hidden everywhere. Look at this. Some rupees up on this roof. I think I saw some over here too, inside the water. I hope the chicken can swim. It can! Nice. <laughs> I like how the chicken's swimming like a duck. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I'm gonna break one pumpkin and hope he doesn't get mad at me. He probably will. But I need the money. Oh, that's a heart. Shoot. He's gonna get so mad at me. I'm destroying the whole harvest. Oh, okay. I'm not even sure how many rupees I need. I forget. But there should be enough. Are you joking? Yeah. I should have checked the shop first. Milk, bee larva. 30 rupees for a bloopy. What is this randomizer? It doesn't want me to have anything. <laughs> well, I think that's all we can do in Ordon Village right now. I think there's still a beehive up there. Let's go to Farron Woods next. I gotta leave the comfort of our village. So sad. Skipping the intro is nice. So you have an option to not skip the intro, 
which I think just prolongs the intro of the game and forces you to get the probably forces you to get the fishing rod at the very beginning I think skipping intro makes the game a little bit more open and also speeds up the entrance the beginning of the randomizer by a lot let's get our horse again bring back stud Papa Yui Ooh. How much can I do at this point? <laughs> how much does the lantern cost? Look how close these springs are to each other. This is such a pretty spring. And that's a good fishing spot right there. Whoa, I just <laughs> accidentally backflipped off my horse. That was cool. Right, the gate's already open for us. It's pretty nice. Best character in the game. If I was in this game, I would live in his hair too. With the with the birds. Is he not going to give me a bottle for free? I totally thought he would. I guess I got to save up for it. The opponent is pretty. I love the model of Epona in this game. It's gonna be very dark in here. We'd have no lantern yet. Should be fine though. We don't gotta go all the way through. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Ah! Okay, orange rupee. Got enough money to buy the bottle from him now, so that's good. Get me out of here. That cave is cursed. So we can't go any further in the forest because there is mists. We either need the lantern to push through that or a wolf link to jump around. Now to turn into wolf link, we need to find this item right here on the tracker, which is the, I forgot the name of it, but it's the parasite that allows you to switch between <laughs> wolf link at will. Yeah, the shadow crystal. So once we find the Shadow Crystal, we'll be able to turn into Wolf Link. Until then, I don't think we are able to turn into Wolf Link. Wildly enough. Okay, so fortunately we have enough rupees to buy this item. From Afro Man. From Bird Hair. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Buy an oil bottle. Yo! Ball and chain! I feel like the other time I played Twilight Princess Randomizer, I also got ball and chain pretty quickly. That's nice though, that's pretty much having bombs. Having that as our only weapon though, in the whole entire game, <laughs> is pretty freaking awesome. Oh, here's our progress screen with this thing, with this bad boy. We can rock it out. Ooh, that's a lot of rupees. So all the combat so far is gonna be me just swinging a big ball and chain around. That's gonna be very entertaining. <laughs> okay, so our luck has been terrible so far for this rando, but it just picked up because at least now we have something to defend ourselves. At the very least. So golden bugs are also randomized along with postals. Here's the first golden bug. And it's just giving us a rupee. That sucks. And I believe that's all we can do in Hyrule Fields. <laughs> Ball and chain doesn't get us much out here. Very fantastic music. We have the twilight sections turned off so we don't have to find the bugs. I don't think the bugs have been added as a randomizer option yet, so there's no really point in trying to do that. Remember these guys? Oh, this golden bug got randomized to be a piece of heart. Now there's a cave back here in the corner. Ooh, buddy. Don't be coming at me. You don't have an army with you. 
All right, so there's a cave back here, a lantern cave, but I don't have any light. But I do know there's several things back here. So I guess I'll try to go through it with ball of chains. <laughs> See how good we are. It's dark, but it's not too dark. Wait, can I break this with ball and chain? Yeah. Ball and chain is pretty strong. Very fortunately. So this place is definitely a maze. And I always try to be thorough because there's no compass to tell me where treasure chests are in here. So we just kind of got to go down every path and make sure we don't miss it. I think there's three or four. I think there's three checks in here. Here's the first one. Nobody likes the giant spiders, but fortunately Ball of Chain kind of just takes them out. We got pretty lucky with Ball of Chain because it can kill most enemies. It's slow, but it's strong and impactful. Kind of like fighting this Ganondorf in Super Smash Bros. It can be hard to land a hit, but if you do, ooh, it's gonna land, it's gonna hit hard. It is kind of like slow for fighting things like Keese. But hey, at least it does the job. <laughs> it's the definition of overkill. Tag tights. I love the enemy models in this game. Twilight Princess has some of the peak enemy designs. Do you guys think Skulltulas and Tag tights are related in any way? Since they're both spider-like, or even they're like in completely different like species. And this is not the first time where I've had early ball and chain. So I'm slightly used to this happening. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it again. But I'll take what I can get. I'm not going to complain. This place is so large. Oh yeah, there's a Poe soul back here. That's what we can't interact with. So we can only kill these as Wolf Link. Hopefully we get the Shadow Crystal soon so we can start killing these guys. Okay, this one requires us to light torches. So we're definitely going to have to return here. So these bats are too much. Get out of my hate. Get out of my lane. Yeah, I'll kill all three of you at once. Not afraid of you. And there was one little split back here. There's too many enemies back here. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a random deep cave in the Zelda game, but it's kind of gross. Just saying. Okay, here's another chest. So we can get two checks now, two checks later. A big key for Palace of Twilight. That is so out of order. So to beat this randomizer, we have to first collect all the mirrors for the broken mirror of twilight which there's four pieces of that and then we can get into the palace of twilight and then we have to beat the Tra palace of twilight to get into ganon's castle so <laughs> we're not going to be even using that boss key to like the very end of this randomizer get out my lane next time Ooh, it's a it dropped a worm we got a stag beetle. Look at that little worm. See ya. That's so cute. Okay, let's mark our first golden bug. We gotta mark our heart pieces too. I guess that's a thing. And I just realized I haven't been marking the boss keys. So we got that boss key. We got Palace of Twilight boss key. We got Temple of Time key. Did I shuffle dungeons? So there's no form of entrance randomizer yet for this. So you can't shuffle dungeons or entrances or anything or boss fights. Hopefully that will be added in the future, but you gotta remember Twilight Princess is, I think, the hardest Zelda game to randomize as far as coding is concerned. So it's been the one kind of lagging behind all of the other Zelda games as far as randomizing is concerned. big cave back there. I don't think we can do anything back there yet. I'm trying to think how much we can do at night. Can I switch it between day and night time? I'm not sure about that. Oh, it's closed. Okay, how many how many rooms are open during the night time? We can come in here. We got a key that's normally an ant. 
in here is replaced with this small key for Palace Twilight. More Palace of Twilight keys? Actually, why? Why would they even do that? <laughs> hey, Barnes. Can I buy any of this stuff? I don't think so. What happens if I try? Oh, premium kit, 120 rupees. Okay, that is too expensive. Let's see if we can find some more rupees first. This place is funny. If you try to like pull out your lantern, <laughs> he'll douse you with water. So whenever we find the lantern, we gotta pull it out inside his bomb shop. Some reckless behavior. But Link's not above reckless behavior, as we all know. And I am actually reading through the Twilight Princess manga right now. And reading through that makes me like the game even more because it's just giving so much more personality to Link and all the characters. And reading the manga right now really makes me hope that the Zelda movie that they're making is based off the Twilight Princess. Because I feel like the story that happens in Twilight Princess could be easily adapted to film. Uh oh, uh oh. Please don't knock me off ladder. I don't think you can. Can I jump down on this side to get the treasure chests? Or do I have to bring a chicken up here? I think I have to bring a cuckoo up here. No! Ah! And that's how Link broke his legs. And couldn't finish the rest of the randomizer. No, we're beeping. That was a stupid idea. How come Twilight Princess Link doesn't get his sailcloth? Link really didn't care about the well-being of Link's legs for a very long time. Are we surprised? Whoa, something's glowing red? Oh, it's a postal. Makes sense. First postal of 60. So Twilight Princess doesn't have as many collectibles as like Ocarina of Time. There's a lot, but between postals and golden bugs, that equals the same amount of thing. Huh? No, there's a lot. There's a lot. I forgot. They just separated it into more collectibles. Instead of 100 Skulltula tokens, it's 60 Skulltulas and like 30 golden bugs. I think I'm just going to go to Hyrule Field and do some bug collecting until it turns into daytime. Yeah, that's the thing is that fall damage probably hurt even worse because of the fact that Link had a ball and chain in his pocket. He weighed more so the gravity was extra strong. Oh yeah, there's also a lot of fish in this game. Fishing's like completely optional, but there is a lot of fishing you can do. Oh, I think I can do this since I have ball and chain. Crush, 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 two, three, four. And this Zelda game is the best fishing simulator out of all the Zelda games. There's multiple fishing rods, lots of places to fish, lots of different baits, a lot of different species of fish to catch, There's fishing mini games. I think I feel like Zelda games are a great game to include fishing simulators just because they have such beautiful atmospheres and music. Fishing's a great way to enjoy that type of thing. You wanna see someone play Twilight Princess where they prioritize fishing everywhere? Challenge accepted. Once I find the fishing rod, I will make this a fishing heavy playthrough where I try to fish in every possible spot and show you guys the extent of fishing in this game. I have to do a little bit of research behind the scenes, but I already kind of know. I just need to refresh to make sure I know everything that I need to know. I'll be the first fish percent speedrunner. Check it out. I finally found my speedrunning niche. Found it. Dude, Key Sanity is going crazy in this rando. Arbiter's Grounds key. I mean, this game does have a lot of keys, so I'm not surprised. There should be four bugs around this part of the field. I'm glad they made things so glowy. I think they've already been glowy, but it just really helps. It's easy to find this stuff at nighttime. Get out of here. <laughs> Too much danger. I wish you could use ball and chain while riding Epona. Might be too much though. You'd probably kill your horse in the process. 
Okay, the Elden Bridge has some good bug options. Ooh, can I reach that? Oh, I might need a... A boomerang or something for that. Can I get the bug on the other side? I don't think so, now that, now that I think about it. It's also up there. Oh my god, Shadow, shadow Beasts. Yeah, that's also an orange rupee. Okay, well, we know what those are. Is it good to switch to daytime yet? I'm ready for that. Yeah, the fishing hole in this game is great. I feel like it's very overlooked. It's kind of tucked in the very top corner of the game. It's like such a fun hangout spot. I love it. Here we go. Good morning world and all that inhabit it. Twilight Princess's soundtrack is so good. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Imagine if those games had a classical Zelda soundtrack. I wonder if it would have helped the games make more sales or less sales if those, those two Zelda games had a more traditional Zelda soundtrack. Wait, no. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't jump over the gate the first time. All right, check in the Kakariko Hotel. Should be a little tiny chest in here, along with all of the Ordon kids. Hey, Colin. Oh, ow. He's just washing over the hotel. Let's steal the stuff they have inside. Lantern! That's good. That opens a lot of Pharaoh Woods. Let's see what color our lantern is. Whoa, look at the blue light. That's pretty. Don't want to waste our oil, though. And like I said, we got to go show Barnes who the real rascal is. Oh, we have a lot of rupees. I forgot that we found rupees. Okay, we can buy whatever he's selling, too. I'm just going to come up here where he can't even see us and light it up. <laughs> That's impressive. No matter where we're standing. I love that little, <laughs> that little treat. The details, the details. Premium kit for 120 rupees. Oh my God. <laughs> we just lost 110 rupees right there. Wait, I just bought bombs. Do I get to keep them? No, I don't get to keep them. No, I can't keep them until you get bomb bag, I guess. Well, that's pretty lame. Let's randomize your shaft in us. Not in the ways that one would prefer. Malamart. Do 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 do. Buda 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 bu bu bu. Bum 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 bum. Huh? Is he just selling a yellow rupee? 200 rupees for a yellow rupee. Is that all these shops are selling? All scam artists. Every last one of ya. Shop sanity is not really going in our favor. <laughs> Bro knows business. He does, I mean, eventually he has like the most poppin' shop in Hyrule Market, so I guess he's doing something right. I just wanna go and get 